how my loves. Um, sorry about the lighting. And let me turn my TV down. Okay, so this is going to be my 24 and 25th week update. I am currently 24 days in five, 24 weeks and five days. So I'm in my 25th week basically. So I end my 25th week on Sunday. So I just wanted to get this out the way because I have my um, ultrasound today. And I'm using my tablet to record because all the notes are on my phone and I don't, I don't want to have to remember things at the top of my head. So, Okay, so I'm going to start off with symptoms from the 24th week. Um, I had a lot of groin pain on the right side. I, I was an emotional roller coaster, like, I was just a hot mess. Um, frequent urination, it was like crazy. My boobs were really itchy and then they were dry and my nipples, it's probably too much information, but my nipples were dry and cracked. I was lightheaded and I found that I couldn't stand, sit, or walk for too long because then my back would hurt. Like sitting up like this, like the way I'm doing now. It's going to hurt me in about five minutes. Um, if I am standing up for too long, my back hurts. And if I'm walking for too long, my groin and my back hurt. So, those were the symptoms from that week. This week, um, still had the groin pain. My feet have been hurting a bit. Um, I've had a toothache. And the reason being is because back in June when I found out I was one month pregnant I had to get a root canal but I couldn't get the root canal because I was in my first trimester my doctor told me to wait till my second trimester um, the pain wasn't bothering me the first two months of the trimester and because this trimester ends sorry because this trimester ends I think in a week or two I basically waited too long and now that root canal has turned into an extraction so I have to get my tooth extracted and my tooth has been in so much pain and I want to get it done but I don't want to be in so much pain because Thanksgiving is two weeks away and I want to enjoy Thanksgiving and I mean three weeks away right whatever it's just coming up soon and I want to enjoy Thanksgiving so I might get it done next week because I'm in too much pain um still can't sleep because this baby is just he is a he he's he's a mess point blank um constipated a lot and have to pee every five to ten minutes because my baby keeps kicking me in my bladder and then I get really hot quickly in bed and sorry for making this video super fast I have to pick up my sister in a few minutes so I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible um other notes I still have no stretch marks um my belly button has gotten darker because of my lena negra I think that's what it's called and that has gotten darker and it's really high now um, I noticed I have dark spots on my boobs, like around my areola, so, but I know that has something to do with like the hormones and pigmentation, so that goes away when the baby's born. Um, and then my child does a weird thing where I don't know if he's hitting a muscle or something, but whatever he kicks, it tends to make my left leg move on its own, like my thigh will just shake constantly on its own whenever he's kicking, whatever he's kicking. So I find that's funny. Um, yeah, cravings, I've been craving lots of candy, but I can't have candy now because I have to get an extraction, and ice cream. No food aversions at all, so, um, as far as my baby, he kicks me in the bladder and cervix way too many times, and it's, just, I find it cute, but it's funny. He loves to curl up and fall asleep on my left side into like a little ball, and it feels so weird, but I just think it's super cute because he has his favorite spot. Um, he pulls on my umbilical cord when he's hungry, and I know he's pulling because, like, if I'm laying down, my belly button will sink in and start floating. That sounds, but it'll start doing waves. So I know that's when he's hungry or something. So I'll start to eat, and once I eat, he'll stop and play and kick and stuff. Um, he. He's been moving a lot more now during the day. Before, I think before last week, he was only moving more so towards midnight, towards the evenings. Now he's moving between midnight to 3 a.m. Then he's up moving around from like 7 to 10. 
Then he'll wake up for a, for a bit in the afternoon and, like, kick, but it won't be, like, the intense kicks. But then, like, after 7 p.m., he'll be wide awake kicking me like crazy. So, I guess he has his sleeping patterns. I don't know, but, yeah. Um, and as for the ultrasound today, if you guys know, the last ultrasound, my 20-week ultrasound, I had problems with the nose. And, um, I'll show you guys. So here's my ultrasound from the 20 week and you can see that black spot is like there, there's no bone connecting it. And there was also an echogenic focus on the heart. So they were concerned about that. So I had to do the genetic counseling, went, I didn't do amniocentesis, I decided to do the non-invasive prenatal screening test, I think it's called, where they just draw a full tube of blood and your blood carries the baby's DNA and they can check the chromosomes from there. So that test came back normal. So, that came back normal, and my doctor wanted me to do a follow-up anatomy scan just to check everything. Everything was perfectly fine. The baby's nose was fully there. The heart was great. Baby weighs 1, point, one pound and 7 ounces. So, I'm happy because normally about your 24th, 25th week, your baby weighs that size anyway. So, um, I'm so happy about that. He is still a boy. <laughs> um... Because the first picture they showed me, I'm going to show you guys, this did not look like a penis to me at all. Where that arrow is, I wasn't convinced that was a penis. Um, in my mind, I knew it was, but I wasn't too convinced. I really wanted this to be a girl. But, it was taken upside down, but let me just, there's a penis, and that's the scrotum there underneath it. So, it's a boy. <laughs> Um, and then let me show you guys the picture of his face, his profile picture. Here's the profile picture. So you guys can see that the nasal bone structure is fully there now compared to the last picture. And um, yeah, he was in there sucking his thumb and just having a ball and everything. So yeah, oh, you may notice that my engagement ring is on my middle finger. I broke the ring garter again for the third, for the second time. And because my hands are so small, the ring doesn't fit perfectly on this hand. As you can see, there's like a ton of space. So until I can get a ring garter back on this ring, I put it on my middle finger. And it'll stay on my middle finger. It won't come off. It'll still twist and turn, but it'll stay on. So I'll be wearing my engagement ring on my middle finger instead of my ring finger until I get my ring garter. So yeah, um, I mean I have no more updates, that's about it. Um, I will do a belly shot. Uh, I will have some wedding videos coming up soon, even though my wedding isn't for two years. I do have some things in order and um, a lot of planning that's been going on. Well, on my end I've been planning mentally in my brain because I, next year after my baby is born... Sometime either in the summer or early fall, I want to throw a get-together for my bridesmaids, for my part of the bridal party, basically. Um, because I have my part of the bridal party all figured out, and I want to get that done. But I want to do that after I get situated, like once I move. Um, I might do that when I'm moving with my fiancé. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys my belly. Oh! Okay, so, here is my belly with the shirt on from the side, the front, and the other side. And this is normally a dress on me, but because I have a belly now, it doesn't fit all the way. But, um, here it is from the side. And I have no stretch marks. I will go into what I've been using because I've been asked. He is down here, right here. What is he doing? Um, here it is from the front. And you guys can see my line is dark and it goes all the way up here. Stop here. And my belly button is really dark at the bottom. And then here it is from the other side. So yeah, that's about it.
sorry. That's about it for this update. Um, the next update will be my 26th and 27th week update because I have my prenatal appointment on the 27th week. And I think after that appointment, I go every two weeks. So, yeah. And I'm basically almost done with my second trimester. It's crazy. Like, I'll be done with my second trimester in about two or three weeks because I'm 25 weeks now yeah about three weeks I'll I'll be done like I'll, I'm basically halfway through my second trimester it's crazy so my son will be here soon and I will do his name and everything I don't think I mentioned his name but I will announce his name let me just make sure my alarm isn't going to gonna go off but I will announce his name and everything after my baby shower because I was supposed to already have my baby shower, I think, last month or this month. My mom had planned it out. But we weren't 100% convinced that it was a boy from the first ultrasound picture that they gave me. But now that we know, it definitely is a boy. And I already know the colors are, basically, my, my wedding colors are the colors for his um, his shower, for my baby shower. Um, I think that's about it. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention. No. Okay. So that's about it. So I'm going to stop rambling and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Um, I will do more active vlogs. It's just at this point in time, there's so much going on. And I'm always tired or I'm either recording beauty videos or I'm doing something or relaxing like my doctor wants me to. So... There's really not much to vlog about because I don't really go out places. <laughs> I'm, like, normally in this house. Definitely once my baby is here, I'll be able to vlog more. Um, I will possibly have some vlogs with my fiancé before the baby is born. Um, I'm not sure. Just because I want to keep parts of my life personal. You will see him when I start doing more wedding series next year. But as of this year, um, I'm not sure if I'll have him on my vlog channel just because I want to keep him and the baby out of things until maybe my postpartum videos or after that. But um, you you guys will see pictures, but just physically them being in the videos, not as of yet. Of course, you can't see the baby because the baby's still in my stomach and my fiancé, he comes over. But when he comes over, we're busy doing things like going to my doctor's appointments or relaxing or shopping or something like that so making videos is not like on my mind at that time but I will have him in a video with me someday um I will do also a slideshow because someone sent me a message and asked if I would do a slideshow of my pregnancy so I will do that um I was also asked about labor and delivery video like I said, I don't know if I'm going to record my labor and delivery because I don't know. I'm going to take pictures, of course, but actually, actual footage, I'm not sure. If I do, I might include it in a video, but I will do, like, a labor and delivery story, but recording actual footage, don't know. Um, as far as postpartum goes, I've been asked if I'm going to do a two-week or a one-week or a three-week update. It all depends on how I feel physically. Because I don't know if I'm going to have vaginal or C-section. If my baby is over 7 pounds, they're basically telling me I'm going to have to have a C-section. So, we'll see. But if I have vaginal, I'll probably do a one-week update. Depending. But I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get out of here. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye.